Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Scissor lift day. 260 MRT by JLG. This is the one that we replaced the starter on. And now the customer complaint is it won't stay running. It starts up and stalls out. So, verify the complaint. There's a little electric fuel pump. Run, run, run. Stalls out. Okay, let's try again. So a few seconds of runtime, and then it stalls out. Place your bets now. This is a carbureted version, so shouldn't be too hard to figure out. What are we losing? Spark? Or is the fuel pump not pumping and the carburetor's, you know, depleting itself? Could be. Um, where would you start? That's my question. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with, well, considering this thing is parked right up against the house, they got the, the thing open, but man, this is tight quarters. I wish I could drive it away from the house, but it won't stay running. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if it's an intentional shutdown or if it's running out of fuel how do we how do we tell I mean it starts up and then it just shuts down so let's uh, take a quick peek at the wiring diagram I'm wondering what exactly can make this thing shut down like hey is it charging you know maybe the alternators not charging or something but uh, we'll go from there well since this thing has a port for a GLG analyzer. This thing's pretty sweet. We can go into the engine menu and go through our menu. Like I want to see if the fuel pump remains on after we start this thing. So let's see, I'm gonna hit the start button. It says off. And then the thing shuts down. Ah, oh, crap. Now we killed the battery. So it's interesting, the uh, fuel pump definitely can be turned on. There's a command. Then it times out, but it, as you saw when it was running, it was not clicking. It was not on. So I believe that there's some intentional shutdown going on. And the battery's completely drained. What are the chances that if the alternator is not, you know, producing an RPM signal, um, that we just it, it just shuts itself off? You know, we've seen genie lifts do this. Let's go back into diagnostics engine and see if there's an RPM signal here. I'll connect the boost pack first, just a second. Alright, here we go. Where's our start switch? Push the button, see what the engine speed is. Ooh, that's a clue! <laughs> that's a clue. So, let's go to this alternator or pull up a wiring diagram and see if there's an RPM signal that should be coming from there or from somewhere and where does it end up? Can we measure it on our control board? Alright, so according to the diagrams, let's see if we can make sense of this. There's our alternator and from here there's alternator lamp. It goes to ground electronics and then there's the actual light right here and that also goes to ground electronics. Alt and Alt L. When you turn the key on, the only light that comes on is the oil, not the battery light. It's very interesting. So 
so I think the battery light should be on right now. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Um, so, can we get that light to light up? Alt L. It goes right to our lamp node on the alternator. So, let me see if I can get this lamp to light up. And it sucks this battery is basically dead. Um, we can't really move it without having it run for a while. But if we can trick it and at least drive it away from this building, we should be in better shape. Okay, one thing I noticed was this wire right here was just kind of flopping around, not really connected to this terminal. And it's, it's actually loose on there. Well, now it's not. Let's uh, let's reconnect everything. <laughs> that would be pretty pretty epic. So let's reconnect our alternator. Yes, 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 I like it. Now let's try to start it. See if it stays running. No. However, our battery light is back. So I guess we're getting somewhere. <laughs> let's check the charging system voltage in this thing. All right, I'll zoom you guys in. 12.05, let's hit the starter. Ah, it didn't even run long enough to do anything. I guess we could connect Mr. Noko back up. Turn him on. Now we're at 12. I don't like it. Still don't like it. And does the battery light go out when the thing starts? It does. We still have a start, run, stall situation. So my suspicion right now is that this computer does not know that the engine's running. There's no RPM signal and then it just shuts everything off. We can confirm this by using the oscilloscope. So the speed pickup right here, that is, looks like a crank sensor. And I think it's right here in the bell housing. The three wires, white, red, and black. And I wanna hook up the Pico to the signal here and also to the ignition coil control and see if the ignition is indeed dropping out. So we can rule out, you know, fuel or ignition. That's where we're f the fork in the road right now, still. And if we don't have the RPM signal, this thing could be cutting out the ignition. <clears throat> so let's hook up the Pico. Uh, right now I have the black ground wire poked, and at least we know we have a good ground on the crank sensor. Let's go to the power wire. I don't know if this is going to be a 5 volt or a 12 volt, doesn't matter. We'll do three channels, power, signal, and ignition coil control. Okay, Pico scope is hooked up. We got power to the crankshaft position sensor, signal. Third channel is ignition coil control, extra long leads. Awesome, and our laptop is conveniently right here. So, ignition on. Okay. That looks good. Let's start up. And it's 
running. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see if we can make it run faster. Where's the, where's the high speed? I think I might have fixed something. Messing with those connections. Keep it responds. It does. Okay. Let's look at our battery voltage. signal all right there's our engine speed let's start it up we have an rpm now let's see what happens if we unplug this crank sensor right here Maybe, maybe it was a bad connection. I mean, the only thing, I just wiggled these. That's pretty crazy. Let's uh, let's see what happens if, like, if we leave this unplugged, will it start and stall? Battery light is on. Oil pressure light is not on. Okay, so it's a no start there. Put this guy back in. I just want to unplug this uh, crank sensor if I can figure out how to undo that plug. Let me unplug it, see what happens. All right, so crank sensor unplugged. Let's see what the symptoms are. Starts and stalls. Starts and stalls. That's it. We were missing the crankshaft position sensor signal. And the only thing we did was mess with this connector right here. Again, it looks a little crusty, but I think there's already dielectric grease on there, so. Ah, man, th these problems are like, it's all bad connections. And if you disturb something and it works, then you're like, well, I think I fixed it. <laughs> At least the starter works, right? So it'll stay running now. Diagnostics. Engine. Glaring this screen's pretty bad. So engine speed, target speed, ACT output. Starter up, fuel pump on. Fuel pump is on. I want to test drive it from 
platform controls make sure we can do everything but that's it it's running and we have a known good crank signal so very simple rpm signal no there's no sync notch this, it just uses this for throttle control and there's your uh, ignition coil control Wow, so in the process of hooking up your equipment, we fixed the damn thing. How about that? But hey, no parts required. You can drive it away, it works great. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more. Lots of exciting construction repairs ahead. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.